What's up, Cougars? I'm the same black senior football player. I'm Madison Dedez, senior volleyball player. And a few weeks ago, we got to attend the Division Three Immersion Program in Anaheim, California. This was an opportunity for us to network, meet people, and um, understand how the ins and outs of college football work. We got to sit through the convention legislations, the conference legislations, as well as meet other Division Three student athletes in SAC and in our program across the world. Yes, some of the biggest takeaways that I think we had was that it really helped us with our professional branding. We had to be on all the time and you have to be able to communicate with other people even if you don't know them. So I think that was really helpful for us. It just kind of threw us out into the water and we just had to swim. It was either sink or swim. Um, we had a lot of speakers. What was your favorite speaker? Um, my favorite speaker probably would have been Will Baguette. He was um, a part of the college football playoff committee. And like his whole speech was about executive image. He said, when you walk into a room, are you the person that, have, that wants everybody to look at you? Or are you that person that puts yourself out there and acts about the people? Are you building relationships or is it strictly business? And he just explained to us, like, when you move on in this world, it's not just a business. Get to know the people. How do you brand yourself? Because in this world of branding, it takes four to seven seconds to make an impression. How do you want your impression to be as you move on in your career? What about you, did you have a favorite speaker? I would also say Will Baguette. He was just very lively. It was like 8 a.m. in the morning and he just got us involved and it was just really fun to listen to him. That week, we met a lot of students. We went like D3 SAC, we did disc assessments. We met a lot of athletic directors and um, higher ups. Why do you think that was important to you? I think it was really important because it gave me a better understanding of not only myself but how the D3 world works, especially going to the legislation, watching how they vote on topics, not only as a whole D3 but just in our conference alone. It was very interesting and I think that it was just so much fun and a great opportunity for us to go out there. Um, so is there anything that you're going to take with you moving forward from this? Moving forward is just understanding that if you get into the Division three athletics that you have to wear multiple hats. I didn't understand how many people, how many jobs other people had to do besides just coaching. So just accepting that and embracing it and um, just understanding that. Appreciate your journey. Um, this was a great opportunity to learn a lot of things and I met a lot of great people. And I will cherish that forever and uh, I will also learn how to brand myself, use my executive image and um, continue to just be the best person I can each day. What about yourself? Uh, I had a mentor named Jason Doviak, and I kept asking him, how did you take that path? What path should I take to get into athletics? And he just kept telling me that every path is different. I can't force a path. I can't go down anyone else's path. And I think that's very important that I can take my own steps, and no matter what I do, I can still get the same outcome, but it's just going to be different and more unique. So I really like that. It's true. So if you're interested in coaching or SID or anything involving higher athletics, um, reach out to your coaches. Um, build relationships now. It starts here. You can't get these opportunities if you don't relationship built here. And you'll never know what happens. You can be at the convention two or three years from now sharing these same experiences, having the same stories that me and Maddie do.